my dick at? Well, let me throw it on the plate for you next, nigga. Now let's get to that. Hold up. God. Wait. Yeah. We got some pickles for you, nigga. You want some pickles? Stop playing. Fuck is you talking about my nuts and where my nuts at? All right, so after I pulled my nuts out of Bam's ass, I put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. Did you like it? Yo, Money Rope, never scared, you heard? Warrior mentality. Scared it. Man, niggas be killing me. Broke ass nigga. All these fake pages trying to go live. It's probably his friends, his homies, maybe even him, so he don't brandish that little five mics account. Listen, I'm just sitting here thinking like how I'm gonna play this situation out. Cause I, I lost respect for Boy once he did that to me. We could you can say what you want in private. You can let the world know you always had secret animosity to me. You always would say, Oh, Chambers brought him to his first open mic. Maybe that bothered you, but you forgotten all five mics forgot all the years I drove and drove him around with all these lies. So I don't him. understand why the nigga got a problem with you. I don't understand what he got a problem with well, like I said, will he still will he want me to go to Coney Island? And do an interview? Do you want me to go to Coney Island and do the interview? He do he realize that people don't like that nigga no more? When you floss and you shit on people that had love for you, they don't like you anymore. Ain't nobody impressed with you being with these boule ass niggas. Everybody's not impressed with the industry, nigga. I'm not trying to get in the industry. I don't want to sit at nobody's table unless it's going to get me some bread. I don't want to take pictures with a nigga unless it's going to get me some bread. I'm trying to get to the bag. Nigga ain't sitting up here trying to impress no fucking bumps or sitting up there and be, and be a part of a rapper's entourage. You got 20 niggas with you because it's 20 of these niggas over there, 30 of them niggas over there. Nah, fuck all that. Fuck all that. <laughs> niggas be killing me, man. I don't want to be part of these niggas' entourage. I shits on these celebrities. You know why? Because I know they be using niggas in the hood. to come back to the hood. They use niggas for their energy. I don't give a fuck about five mics. He talk all that shit. If he was really serious, he wouldn't be posting all these posts. Oh, that nigga I saw on Campbell can't go outside. I went live outside. YouTube played with the numbers and it still got, what, 44,000 views? Cause I'll, I'm just like, like yo, if you think you can play with me, son? You gonna learn, man. You no, know? um, I mean, I know how life works, though, man. You know what I mean? Niggas like to go to parties. Niggas like to be in studio sessions. Right. I have a lot of friends in the right places, bro. You just came back to New York. Nobody really fuck with you. You just the nigga with the bag. You're not five mics. You're the nigga with the big drop. And you're gonna be the big drop, always. Sit. Son, the nigga too tall to be talking like that. He a big target. It's hard to miss that big target. He got a big mouth. I wish him the best of luck, though. At the end of the day, that's some weak-ass shit. That nigga, Tia, he jumped out the window like a, like a bird-ass nigga. Talking about don't stand next to Charleston White. Charleston White sat up there. He's satire. Charleston White is a comedian. Charleston White does anything to go viral. This is what Charleston White does, and he goes viral. That's what he does. There is no white woman that Charleston White raped. This shit is satire. When Charleston White speaks on big platforms, listen to the shit that he says. His message no, I don't agree with everything the niggas say, but his message is bringing awareness to the stupid shit that black people do, and you niggas don't like that because you niggas want to be a thug forever. I don't want to prove to somebody that I'm tough, but when I do finally prove to one of you niggas that I, that I am tough, it's going to come with a lawyer fee. It's going to come with a, with a court sentence. It's going to come with police. It's going to come with ambulance because I'm not going to be the nigga being picked up off the floor. And I want you niggas to understand that before you think twice, when you see me in the street and you think it's something sweet, you're going to get picked up by the ambulance. It won't be me. You think I'm going to let, I'm, you think I want to get my back dirty? Yeah, that nigga never was a friend. That's what bothers me. Because, like, you know, when they tried to link niggas years ago, 
And I just was saying to myself, I said, yo, year after year, this brother did something to hinder what, 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 what I was building for himself, or he took me out the way of what I was already doing just to help him what he was doing. And it was just like the same repetitive behavior. So when I'm sitting here like in the days, I'm like, how can he fix his mouth to say any of these things? Because he don't give a fuck about you because all he had to do was sit up there and say, first of all, call my bluff. Tell me you go to, go to Coney Island to get the interview. Like, or some real shit. How many people have you decided, right? Because I know if niggas is willing to talk to me. How many people right now will sit up there and talk shit about him right now? Like, that's a faggot ass nigga. Yo, he I'm right now. I just found out some shit he did with Quincy Doobie out in Philly. Like, I didn't even get to that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that happened. I didn't know you moving with niggas like that. Niggas telling me Quincy stories. I didn't know that. But he talking about he a real nigga, though. Mm. You know what I mean? Part two. You mm. know, maybe it's incriminating. Maybe it's whack. But you a real nigga, though, right? You let them niggas tell you that story if you want, bro. Like, I've been here. I never left. My number the same, like I always told them. When somebody said, I can't go to the island, I've been on the island. And I terrorized that shit. What you think will happen when I go to the island? I'm going to be sticking razors in my ass just like everybody else. What you think will happen when I go to the island? What you think, that I ain't got bloods and crips on the island that'll get busy for me? What you think, I don't got bloods and crips on the street that'll clap a nigga for me? Y'all niggas are stupid. You can't go to the island. I could drop $10,000 on the island right now. I drop 10000 on your block and get your snot box right. Shut the fuck up. Nigga, I got money. I go wherever I want to go. As long as they got guns and knives, I go anywhere I want to know. As long as they got a razor, as long as they got a bang, I go anywhere I want to go. Nigga, you got me fucked up. I lived on Rikers Island for years. Fuck is you talking about? I lived on Rikers Island in the 90s when the shit was wild. When niggas knew how to fight in cut. You little niggas, you niggas today don't know how to fight. Talking about a nigga can't go to the island. Nigga, I lived on the island. Been in every house in the four building. You know, OGCC. Chad, I was one of the last of the Evers. I was in the I was the last of the Evers in HDM. Nigga been in HDM. Fuck is these niggas talking about? Cause you told yourself that? The fuck up. But I tell you what, you right. Let's just say I can't go back to the hood. You can't get out the hood, nigga. You stuck. You forever stuck being a bum. You forever stuck in the hood. You never gonna make it out. Now what? See, it's not my job to go backwards, nigga. It's your job to catch up to where the fuck I'm at. How about that? It's your job to step your shit up. Get you a condo. Matter of fact, get back. start off with a co-op, nigga. Move up out of that tenement building. Don't talk that shit to me. I could talk grown to you, nigga. I could talk grown to you, nigga. Talking about I can't come to the hood. I can't go to jail. Why would I want to go to jail? You can't get out the hood. You stuck in front of the corner store, nigga. You ain't never been on a plane. You ain't never been to the Bahamas. You ain't never been to Hawaii, motherfucker. You don't know what it feels like to feel that West Indy breeze. You don't even know what the people look like in Honolulu, nigga. You stuck in the five boroughs, you bum ass. Oops. That's the difference between me and you. Nigga, you stuck in the five boroughs. You the nigga I want to stay away from because your life is so bad and so miserable, you might actually fuck my life up. You might actually have me crying, saying, why did I go around with this dust bucket ass nigga that probably got about three pairs of sneakers? No, you probably got 10 pairs of sneakers and no suit in the closet. You ain't got no button ups, no suit in the closet. You can't put that three piece on with that fedora hat. Nope. You ain't got the shiny shoes. You're a hood booger. Shut up. I'm having fun with this. Bro, son, like this shit is hilarious to me, bro. Very hilarious. It's like niggas be talking like, I didn't, I didn't buy your Benz. I didn't buy your Audi. I ain't buy your Infinity. I don't have luxury cars in my driveway, just to pull up to where your punk ass is at. No, I want to go with 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 nice, clean people was at. 
where the middle class or the rich people, where they, where they like to enjoy. I don't want to go nowhere where niggas are shooting out in the park. I did that last, last night. That's not an everyday thing because God made this earth big enough for you to go places and do things. You niggas is on bump time. You in love with the hood. I'm not in love with the hood. I had to survive the hood. I had to escape the hood. And now you bum ass niggas want to tell a nigga that actually made it out, jump back in. I do be going back in. I just don't make that an everyday thing. Do you know why? Because I like to live with the upper class people. I earned my spot. I worked hard for my shit. You should do the same thing. You tell on yourself with that bum ass mentality. You can't go to the island. What's going to happen to me when I, nigga, there's a bunch of soft niggas in the island. That shit don't impress me. I think they talk about Coney Island, not knowing you got family out there. He said, I can't go to Coney Island. Nigga, That's you know, I <laughs> nigga, I got shooters in Coney Island. Fuck is wrong with you? I got niggas in Coney Island that'll punch you in your face, but just saying that I can't come to Coney Island. You think I won't go to Coney Island? Man, listen, man. I grew up in Coney Island. I grew up in Coney Island. 28 and surf. 28 and surf. Apartment 1147. 1147. Down the hall from Shelly. Down the hall from, from, from Joy. Down the hall from Maryland's Matter of fact, let me stop throwing names out there. 1147. Apartment 1147. 28th and 3rd. Corner building. Those staircases is the worst staircases I've ever seen in my life. You know what I'm saying? And look. You got family in Coney Island. You got everybody talking to you. This is all I'm exposing. And, you know, it's a lot of people who hit you up. But he chose to just, you know, I guess because you mentioned my name. If you didn't mention my name, you probably still mentioned my name. But you mentioned my name. You mentioned Nick. I mentioned math name. You mentioned math name. You mentioned Why he didn't go at math? How he know I didn't speak the math? I'm not saying I spoke the math. But how he know I didn't speak the math? I mentioned math's name. Me and Math speak on the phone. He don't know who the fuck I spoke to. Math is my nigga. Just like you, my nigga. He don't know who I spoke The nigga jumped out the window because he don't like you. Hmm. He exposed his hand. The truth of the matter is I'm giving that bitch ass nigga too much clout. Who the fuck is he? Who is he? Nobody even knew the nigga until I mentioned his name. Shit, like I said, I used to work in it. I used to work some of youth out there in Coney Island. Nigga can't tell me nothing. Crazy. Yo, this shit is crazy, man. Oh, yo, the power of social media and YouTube is crazy. Because as soon as you posted that shit, I think probably about 30 minutes, somebody hit me. He was like, yo, Hassan Campbell gave you a shout out. Not knowing, like, I tag everybody that's influencers. <laughs> Nigga showed his real hand, y'all. Y'all hear from the man himself. He got family in Coney Island. He's from 28th and Surf. And your boy panicked. Threw my name out there. And now we hit. He be all right, though. It is what it is, man. He, 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 he. I'm, I'm playing with him right now because I'm bored. But what's going to happen is T.I. going to get mad when I start using him for content every day. I troll the shit out of T.I. He only get sick. Because every day I could play a news clipping of what that nigga did to those girls. The nigga jumped out the window telling anybody and everybody if they fuck with Charleston White, they're a sucker because he a rapist. But what the fuck is T.I.? Nigga had over 12 bitches accuse him of rape. 12. Twelve bitches accused that nigga of, 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 of drugging them.
But ain't nobody saying nothing about that. Yeah, nobody mentioning how he threw he threw me out there because just because you gave me a shout out, what niggas not supposed to give me a shout out? Niggas not supposed to say, oh, shout out to Chambers for putting the courts up. What was the problem? What, what was the problem? I didn't understand this. When y'all ask Fob that, when you talk to go Fob, talk to Fob, you're like, yo. If he wanted to know who I was spo I spoke to, he should have just asked me. If he if he wanted to know who I spoke to before he jumped out the window, he should have told me, go ahead, call my bluff. He should have told me to go out to Coney Island. Nigga name dropping, making shit up, talking about niggas, all type of corny shit. And I don't, yo, and I don't remember him being up ever where it was life changing until this year. That's why this is mind blowing to me, bro. He always had some sneakers. He always had extra shit he was traveling with. And like, he always used to have garbage bags of clothes, but, but to try to play me, talking about I never was on nothing. I was always the hustler. Hustlers don't gotta be tough. They get money, they move around, protect the money. They don't got to sit in the hood and be tough. But on the contrary, you steal from the... All the, all, the tough, all the tough niggas is broke. Let's keep it all the way funky. All, most of the tough niggas is broke right now. The niggas ain't got a dollar in their pocket, man. Niggas is broke. All that, that tough shit is played out. It is what it is, man. If you want to prove to me that you tough, is you bout it, bout it, fool, pay your fucking rent for a whole year. You want to prove something to me? Pay your rent for a whole year. Takeover gang, we know that. We know it's me and Nims. But he'll never disrespect Nims because he need Nims. He need Nims for that clout. That's why he, That's why once you shouted him out, now I see why he posted the video with him and Nims to show him, he, you know, he showed love to Nims. But, like, that don't mean nothing. You used to talk shit about him. You know what I mean? Just like he talked shit about everybody. Just like he didn't respect the battle culture. But you around battle rappers now. Now you, you preferably you sign a battle rap or you try to invest into a battle rapper career. It's losing to me. So when I don't have nothing to say and I fall back and I just take a hard stand back, that shit hurt feelings. You think niggas always got to talk about you. You talk about, oh, I don't give, the last thing he said, I don't give a fuck you think you the underground king. Wow. Listen, man, he, he, he want to meet up with me, man. We could pull right up. We go a math platform and see each other face to face. All that tough shit that that nigga, that tall linky nigga, nigga, I will scoop slam you right on your face. You linky ass nigga, I will throw you over my shoulders, slam you on your goddamn head and stomp your face in. Ain't nobody scared of you, nigga. Fuck all that. Even though it's like, yo, at the end of the day, like, I don't want to fight the helper. Nigga, you the piss boy. Where your boy? Go get your boss. Fuck am I beefing with the piss boy for? Go get your boss. Where the fuck is T.I. at? I don't want to beef with the with the work nigga. You a little nigga. Yo, for the people that's taking up, you know what I mean, and just hopping in this, this conversation, and they don't really know what's going on, and I'm going to ask y'all, because, you know, maybe some of y'all have different experiences than me. No, don't don't try to just go at Hassan Campbell. This shit started because Hassan Campbell made some points about something, and then boy attacked me. So... You know, I'm, I pulled Hassan up just like I tried to go on his live. He ain't pop out. Hassan hit me. I popped him up on his live so he could say what he's saying right now. So don't just look at whatever is going on in the past or whatever Hassan feel like saying about how he feel about this culture or whatever. This is about how... Hey, yo, China Mac. I see China Mac in the building. Yo, son, me and you speak to each other on the phone. Yo, how you laughing at these niggas trying to diss me, son? I'm looking at that, that, that punk-ass post that nigga put up. Fat Joe, him and Fat Joe, like, son, how you laughing at me? And we we speak, son. I thought we was cool. Look, I thought China, me and China Mac was cool. I'm like, yo, niggas laughing at these niggas' corny ass jokes. That nigga ain't dragging me. He took a couple of pictures up and posted it up. But look at the pictures of this nigga. Y'all gonna laugh at that? Since, I mean, since we laughing at jokes, China Mac, you going to laugh at that? Here, look. Look at your man. He looks just like Paul Mooney. He looked like Dapper Dan and Paul Mooney mixed into one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Funny-looking-ass nigga. Look at your man, China Mac. Look at that nigga. Look at that nigga. 
or Paul Mooney in the face. That nigga 75 year with a 15 year outfit. Stop playing. Ugly ass nigga. Nigga look like fucking Paul Mooney. Oh, color purple ass nigga. You show is ugly. He better try to stay fly. And the crazy part about it is these fucking clothes he got on is ugly as fuck. Look at the nigga. Nigga look like Paul Mooney. Stop fucking playing. Paul Mooney is, I told you, man, Paul Mooney is that nigga mother. Dapper Dan is his father. Images of Dapper Dan. These pictures look, could match. Look, it is daddy. Oh, shit. He really do look like Paul Mooney and Dapper Dan together. Look at this nigga. Stop <laughs> playing. Stop playing. I told you. Yo, damn, this nigga look like every ugly nigga. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, let me ask you something, man. And maybe I can ask everybody in this comment, too. When With all the things that I'm saying and everything you heard him say, right? His thing is, I'm a whack rapper. And, um, you know, I let him put on for Coney Island. But when you go to Coney Island, I'm the only one that's giving niggas opportunities in Coney Island with no money. How could you discredit the nigga that's helping everybody with no money? He got him. Because always. you're making him look like shit. You the nigga that's going back to the hood and you taking care, you trying to take care of the community. He he going to, he ain't coming back to the hood to take care of hood. He going to take care of the celebrities. That's a fact. That nigga taking Jim Jones on a date, mind the clothes. The video you was going took shopping. a man. You took a man on a hundred thousand dollar shopping spree. Nigga taking fat. Fat Joe got his own store. How you taking Fat Joe shopping? Nigga, you tricking. Paying niggas for videos. The whack ass lyrics they were niggas making songs with your whack ass. You paying niggas for them goddamn whack ass songs that ain't nobody gonna listen to. Nobody don't wanna look at yo, who the fuck in they right mind? Go and turn the TV on and watch this nigga video. Who gonna watch a video with that nigga? Yo, you would, yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. I actually watched a few of these videos, bro. Cause I'm like, yo, I'm I'm happy to I was genuinely Cause you supporting your man. But I'm gonna keep it funky, son. On some real shit. If I'm macking with a bitch, I'm a grown ass man. I like to be around women. Who the fuck gonna play that nigga? I ain't going to YouTube putting that nigga on my TV screen. Who the fuck want to see this? This nigga look like G.I. Joe. Look at this nigga. He look like a ghetto action figure. Like, nah, man. Y'all niggas ain't getting it. Sucking all of these celebrities. Like I said... So like with all those people, yo, they should this turn comment. this nigga into a GI Joe. This nigga's a ghetto GI Joe, GI Joe, American hero. <laughs> this nigga, he ain't Storm Shadow or Shadow Storm. This is five mics. Come on, man. Look at this tech though. What did yeah, this nigga look like a Halloween costume? Tim White, man. You're 52 years old, you got one eye. You look 75. You're 100 pounds. I think you need to focus on being a community activist, man. You gotta understand, like, some niggas don't give a fuck about nothing, nigga. Nothing. Like, stop internet trolling, bro. I'm gonna give you some advice. Stop internet trolling. What you gonna do if he don't? Like, some people, some bad people out here, Charleston. You heard? Stop, man. Go, you know what I mean? Go, man. Come on, man. I will slap. Let me shut up. Yo, but like what I said, this, this whole convo started because he jumped. So, you ever seen him have a fist fight? Nah, I heard him argue a few times. You heard him argue? You ain't never seen him have You've never heard of a nigga having a fist fight? Nah. Right. So, arguing is what he do best. You ever heard of that nigga clapping anybody? 
Nah, I never really cared to hear about it. When I always saw him, I always heard about Grand Hustle and how T.I. about to do something for him or help his career. That's about Is it. this the Ellis nigga in Nebraska? This nigga? That nigga face looked like shaved balls. Stop playing with me, 75-year-old nigga. Like, stop playing, man. I don't even like giving him my energy no more. It's like, yo, who? I'm making this nigga somebody. If I say a nigga name, I make him relevant. That's why all these niggas be trolling me. I say a nigga name, I make him relevant. I don't give a fuck how much money the nigga ran into. Bankhead, Jermaine. Yo, I don't know these niggas, man. Yo, listen, man. I'm not here for to, to discredit nobody. I'm just here to just prove how people could hold animosity and then go to social media. And then when, you know, I pull a string and I get the person who created the blog to pull up. Y'all ask the questions why he, but nobody stopped him from running his mouth. Nobody stopped him from disrespecting me. I'm a grown man, son. It's obvious. You want to throw ages out there? Yeah, I live to see it. I've been there. I've seen them come. I've seen them go, bro. I don't like nobody went and calmed him down. And be like, yo, son, that's not how you do it. Hit chambers up. What I see y'all doing, y'all niggas is laughing in the comments. Y'all let him talk about the concerts, the same shows he never provided for none of y'all. He told y'all niggas five thousand dollars for that bum ass showcase. Remember that concert that was at Chelsea Music Hall? He wanted five thousand dollars, five from unsigned artists. Is that real to me? When you got the bag, the big drop. That's not real to me. That's not real. And I still try to help you promote it. I even helped you with the flyers. I even told you break bread between me and Birdie so we could promote this shit that you're doing. You ain't do it. I don't care, bro. Who that? This is what we're talking about? Come on, man. EBI, though. It is what it is. Last night was a movie, man. Niggas was outside. Niggas was outside heavy last night. Niggas was outside heavy last night. Everybody that was somebody that was outside last night. I don't know who the fuck this nigga think I be around. Like, I just be outside with lame-ass niggas. Like, nah, nigga. All my niggas is official. <laughs> All my niggas is official. He got me fucked up. I don't want to argue with the with, with the worker no more. I'm done with the worker. Let me get back to the boss now. Let's get to the boss now. Where Ti at? Tag that bitch ass nigga in here. Tag tag that tag tag that nigga that's being accused of drugging bitches and date raping them. Him and his wife. And wondering why that little nigga fucked up going to jail. <laughs> Yo, Haas, I'm going to go put my phone on the charger. It's been real. I didn't know you had family in 28th and Surf. You have a lot of people you know um, that know this guy. Obviously, people are DMing you. People are DMing me. I could just say the DM I got just now, but that wouldn't help nothing. You know what I'm saying? Bottom line is, he he uh he jumped the gun. He jumped the gun, he played himself, and he showed his true hand. And I if you'd have saw the live, he was sweating in the car with a bubble on. The mushrooms was kicking in. I don't know what he was thinking or who he playing with, but we're gonna find out. You know what I mean? Yeah, he 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 de he definitely be all right. He he he, he definitely be all right. But um yeah, I mean I mean it is what it is, man. I, I'm 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 gonna drag him. I'm gonna drag him a little bit more because that little bit of audience that he got on on Instagram, nigga, I got the big arena, and I know I know they get tired of me. They keep calling up the YouTube like, yo, this nigga dog and the celebrities. YouTube playing with my numbers. I'm still killing these niggas. Still killing them on the arena. It is what it is, man. Yo, I'm all at you, my God. Stay up. You know, um, I really hope all of this shit makes sense in the end. You know. <laughs> I pray I never got to walk through no doors because I'm not walking through not one door. I'm not chasing rappers. You know what I mean? I'll probably invest into a verse or something, but I'm not chasing rappers and I'm not 
doing what, he, what what the niggas is willing to do. I, I don't have a hundred grand to go in Gucci. I don't have that. You're right. Let me you tell you something, bad. man. I got I got children. When I die, I want to leave them behind something, some property. They can't do shit with my fucking clothes. That's a bum move. That's a fucking bum move. You don't see this nigga showing you mad different properties and businesses and buildings that he got. This nigga is showing you a fucking wardrobe. A wardrobe. After you drive that car off the dealership, that shit ain't no good no more. The value done depleted on that motherfucker. Let me see some businesses. Let me see some land. You can't show me that. What, you gonna show me your rap career? Nigga, ain't nobody fucking listening to him. Hmm. That nigga bought his subscribers off of Instagram. Niggas thinking he's somebody because he done paid for a check mark and he done sat up there and bought some followers. But if you look at the support that he got on his post, that shit is whack. Fuck out of here. It is what it is, yeah, man. I'm going to holler at you, man. Save this live. Yeah. <laughs> save it. Because I'm going to save it. Holler at you, boy. Yeah, yeah.